Guten Morgen. Good morning. Getting ready for the big game tonight. Getting all my stuff ready. Get me bag ready. I think my train leaves at 10 to 3 to Wollanda Waterloo. Then up to King's Cross. Then swap at King's Cross to Finsbury Park. Then I'm in North London Territory, mate. I'm at the home of my football team, the Gooners, who can put a firework up the rocket right up the arse of Jurgen Klopp tonight, or we might not. We have some good news for Gabriel, but not such good news for Arsenal. He didn't train yesterday. Because his wife went into labour. Now, if Gabriel does not play tonight, that means Rob Holding will come in. And I just have horror shot. Just this memory of Diego Jota out jumping. <laughs> out jumping Holding last season. Jota's not that big either. And they beat us 3 0 at home. Covid. No fans, but still, I've got nightmares. Um, but tonight, I'm going to be asking the fans. You know, AFTV, go around and ask the fans. But tonight, I'm asking the Arsenal fans, who do they want this summer if we get UCL football? Um, tonight's game does not define our season and it certainly doesn't define whether we're going to finish the top four. Um, but if we're missing Gabriel, that is a monumental loss. That's what I said. Why loan out Saliba? We should have brought him back at Christmas. This is why you need three world-class centre-backs or three top centre-backs. Now, if we had Saliba... Wouldn't be a problem. It'd come straight in. Instead, we got Rob bloody holding. I just pray to Lord Gabriel. It might not make a difference anyway, but I'd rather go down fighting with Gabriel than Rob holding. If I'm sat at that Emirates and the team sheet comes through on my phone for the match and Rob holding and no Gabriel on the bench even. I'll be looking for updates whether his wife said the baby. And like with Pepe, he had his wife had the child and he played um insisted that he played against Wolves and he come on and got the all important goal that sets us on our way to winning the match. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But tonight I'll be asking you Yes, you, Arsenal supporters. Who shall we sign in the summer? Now, we're losing Eddie and Ketia. For me, it's good for Eddie. It's good for Arsenal. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna diss him. He's just not for me an Arsenal footballer. He's not good enough. Lacazette. Big question mark of a Laka. Personally. I'd, I'd give him a year extension and go on that because there could be games where we need a lacquer. I kept my eye. I'm doing my scouting, my new role as scout, chief scout of uh, Arsenal now. And uh, I watched Joe Felix last night. Um, he just did a job um, for their only goal. Beautiful flick out wide, crossed in, and and it led to their goal. Uh, the guy is superb. He he fits the age profile for Arsenal. He's twenty two, stroke twenty three. He ticks every box. I thought he's Spanish, but he's actually Portuguese. But he he ticks every box. Arteta would want from a centre forward, in my opinion, modern day centre forward. Um, and no, Portuguese seem to churn these players out, don't they? You know, they're a good shout for the World Cup. 
I'm telling you, man, if they get there. Um, and midfield. Now, I think we will be finally moving on from Granite Xhaka. Who to replace him? Now, Partey seems to be our new, de you know, defensive midfielder. Obviously, we've got Odegaard in the 10. Who can also play drop back and defend. But who do we get in there as an attacking mid? For me, Yuri Tillemans all day long. And if we get in the Champions League, Leicester aren't even going to qualify for Europe unless they win it. Same with West Ham. Um, West Ham have got a better chance of finishing European sport than Leicester. But Leicester through the league aren't getting in Europe. They're going to have to win it. Um, anyway. Um, so for me, three major signings um, I'd like to see come in. Felix, I think, would be the hardest one. I think it all de they said it all depends on where Afle if Atletico failed to qualify for the Champions League then he would be open to a move. Um, wait and see. I just hope Atletico Madrid, one, don't win the Champions League, two, don't qualify for the Champions League, and Arsenal do. Then our chances of signing João Felix go up <coughs> majorly. He would cost 100 million quid. That's the only problem, because... They want to recoup the money they showed. They showed out 112 million euros on him, I think. So around 100 million. They're going to want around 90 to 100 mark. Let me know your thoughts. I want your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you at the Emirates tonight. Come on, the Arsenal.